Invoking the spirits of their ancestors, the Tedurai say they are grateful. They hope peace has come to their land too. More than 100,000 of them voted to accept an autonomous government designed to provide greater powers for Muslims in Mindanao. Christian and indigenous communities like the Tedurai are also included in the new self-rule region. After decades of fighting, leaders of the separatist rebel group, the more Islamic Liberation Front, negotiated for almost 20 years with several administrations in the capital Manila. Yes. More than 100,000 Filipinos have been killed and millions more displaced since the rebellion for Muslim rule began in the 1960s. It's very important that it relates to this history that when the law comes out, people, especially those who are most affected by what is going to be, which means the Bangsamoro people, will feel that yes, this is the rightful settlement, this is the rightful termination of what we had fought for, and that this is the good ground from which to begin a new future. Some of the Tedurai's ancestral lands are occupied by the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and the Philippine military. They say they are prepared to fight for their rights, despite being one of the most embattled tribes in the country. We have a saying, just like a crab that is being pursued inside its hole, we may feel powerless sometimes, but the crab has claws, you see, and even with small claws, we can fight back. Like so many indigenous tribes in Mindanao, the Tedurais have been fighting for their ancestral land for decades. This is why they say they have always been supportive of this peace process and their expectations are high that under this new political autonomy, they will finally be properly represented. Some refer to the Tedurai as a minority among minorities. They are counting on the government's promise that under this new autonomy, the land of their ancestors will be returned to them. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Maguindano Province, Southern Philippines.